Welcome. I'm Meredith. This is the Oasis Spiritual Empowerment Tarot. All about tarot, oracle, and empowering you. And here's another unboxing. I don't know what this is. So, I guess you know because of the description. One day I'm going to say, surprise! Surprise deck. Because um, I don't know what this is. But we'll find out. But again, you already know. But I'm telling you, one day, I'm not going to tell you. <gasps> oh. Okay. So this is the Thoth Journey Tarot. Tarot. An Oracle for Change. This is the Aquarius edition. So, I think this is the second edition. It's at least the second. It's by... Uh, Joanna Kate Grant and Aia Lou I'm so sorry um, okay so this distinctive visionary work is a unique collaboration between astrologer Joanna Kate Grant and artist Aia Lou I'm so sorry again uh, designed specifically for exploring themes of transformation and change. The vivid combination of art and story help the reader to invoke the richness of their own creative wisdom to light their own way home. It's got 80 cards, 176 page, little white book. And the box is, is really nice. Um, feels nice and sturdy. It's just, it's lovely. Really smooth and soft. And it's not so big that, you know, I would want to keep them out. Like, this is a box I will actually use for my deck, which is really nice. Alright, we're going to take a quick look at the guidebook. Now, I don't have the previous edition. <clears throat> so, and this was a Kickstarter. So we have a preface about the deck, using the deck, the hallway of beginnings. And then we have the miners, fire, water, air, earth, then the majors, then the tree of life. Um, there's a preface to the Aquarius edition. About the cards, ritual for change. Um... And then it gets... Oh, so these are... Looks like maybe a, a spread. And so then for the cards, you know, we start with the aces. And I have a feeling... Well, no. It doesn't. Okay. Whatever. Um, never mind. So it does go by suit. Um... So it gives you about two paragraphs, and then we have the zodiac correspondences, the season, the nature, the Kabbalah, direction, timeline, and tagline, which is fabulous. So without further ado, let's get into these cards, and then after we flip through all of them, um, I'll pick one, we'll read from the guidebook, and then I'll shuffle them and lay them out so you can see how they might be in a reading. I love these backs, they're so pretty. Oh, and the size is ooh, um, a little bit shorter than standard tarot, maybe a hair more narrow, but pretty, pretty close. So, um, okay, so we're going this way. <clears throat> Look at this. Oh. So now we have the root of fire, which of course is, is your ace of fire or wands. And fire too. Look at that. That's fabulous. I love that. That's interesting. The three of fire or wands. And the four. I 
It's an interesting for the five. <clears throat> I feel like this is this is a deck that um, I'm gonna need to sit with a little bit. Look at that. Uh. Yeah, and to decide how how I'm gonna work with this one. Okay, you you may notice. My nails are different. It's been a long time since I started. I got interrupted doing this. So, um, I'm just going to continue. This is way too long later, but here we go. Um, yeah, I can't believe it. I thought I finished this video. And, uh, and I, I just didn't. So... Really, really like this one. Hmm. There's something about the color palette. I don't know if I even said this. You know, I just started the video when I... Oh, I love her. Um, when I got interrupted. But... Um, I love the, the colors. The colors in this deck for me really spark um the uh they really evoke the the meanings of the cards you know wow look at her Interesting. Oh, wow. This is glorious. How perfect. So, of course, the root of water, you know, is basically the ace. And it is the ace. I really feel like I want to, you know what, let's, I didn't do it with the fire, um, maybe we could do it just a little bit, I just feel like it's worth kind of seeing the progression here, um, just a little bit. Interesting that for the the princess and the queen, right, we have these feminine figures. For the knight, for the prince, we don't. We, we, you know, we don't have we don't have uh, humanoid figures. I guess is is what I'm trying to say. It's really interesting. Okay, so now let's just sort of. just feel like it's worth showing this progression. So here's our five. Yeah, 
This is such a unique deck. Um, I'm not sure how... Oh, that's lovely. I'm not sure how I'm going to work with it, honestly. I know I'm going to work with it. Um, and I feel like... I'm going to work with it in a special way. Oh, wow, look at her. Um... I don't know what that is yet. And that's okay. I, I definitely don't mind that. Now we have that root of air. Oh. Yeah, I've been I've been so I've really been running ragged lately. And it's so ridiculous because last night I wanted to work with the stack. Not even realizing that I haven't even seen the whole deck. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And then I realized, so I was like, oh man, I gotta finish that video so I can finally work with it. So. Yeah, this is a deck that, um, definitely for now, for the foreseeable future, I would say. I don't think I'm going to pair this with anything. I think I'm just going to use it on its own. Because I do feel like I'm going to be using it in, in a unique way. I'm just not sure what way yet. Um, and <clears throat> I think one of, the, one of the first things I'm going to do after this video, wow, look at this, is um, I'm going to like all of the cards out. Um, oh, wow. That is wonderful. Um, I'm gonna lay them all out first, I think, with the suits. Um, then grouping numbers, grouping the, the different courts, like all the princesses together. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Um, and then progress through the majors. Um, just to get a better feel for how these cards interact. And how they really speak to me. So here we, we do have a face for the night. Oh, wow. Look at this. I love this. This is just fabulous. Really, really well done. <clears throat> oh, and that. So, I, I will say that for me, <clears throat> some of these cards are more... more familiar Thoth type cards than others. Um, some feel a bit more RWS, you know, like, like here a little bit. Well, um, yeah. But I think ultimately this is its own thing, which is fabulous. You know what I would almost compare this to? <laughs> this is going to sound weird because this is, this is a deck, um, not this deck, the, the deck I'm about to talk about is a deck that I don't vibe with at all. It just, I, I don't care for it. Um, it. It's just a personal preference. It's hugely popular. A lot of people love it. I just don't. And that's the Mary L. <clears throat> and um, I think for a lot of people that deck is is very unique and kind of its own thing and and very powerful i think this is kind of along those lines but for me better and i don't mean it's a better deck it's just for me better right it just speaks 
more powerfully to my soul. You know what I mean? This, oh, this is exquisite. Um, because for me, these cards resonate with the energy that I expect from these cards. That was not my experience with Marielle. Some did. Some are gorgeous and wonderful. Some just um, didn't work for me. You know. And, and that's okay, right? We're all different. Um, okay, so, oh. I'm not even see, I'm blabbing away. So, so here's our fool. Just fabulous. And now the magus. And this definitely feels connected to like Crowley's thought, but at the same time, it's it's definitely very very different. <clears throat> and again, now so. <clears throat> Um, Crowley had three options for the Magus. So I'm thinking, I'm just going to go backwards to kind of, oh, well we have two here. Um, really, really interesting depictions. Now the priestess. Love the Sempras. Really, really interesting hierophant. Love that second like eye. <clears throat> The artwork is just gorgeous. Hmm. Oh, I love this hermit card. Really, really lovely. I'm sorry, see, I'm getting sucked in. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, wow. Look at that for the tower. <gasps> this may be one of my favorite tower cards. That is absolutely spectacular. Um, oh, I love this, too. Yeah, I can't. I can't wait to use this. And I know I say that a lot, but it's it's true every time I say it. Um, yeah, I can't believe I left this not even half done for so long. Wow. Yeah, this is like a a feminine thought, you know. Um, we have Malachi, 
Oh, look at that face. So sweet. Um, and, you know, to me, it's it's especially marked in, in the Eon card. You know, it's like that birth. Um, I think, I think, maybe, um, once I've spent a good amount of time with this deck on its own, it might actually pair really well with Thoth, you know, with Crowley's Thoth, and I don't really pair stuff with that, but I'm thinking I might, or at least with, uh, Surfer's Paradise, um, I might pair those, but let's see how it shuffles, and it shuffles beautifully, um, and I'll lay some out, I've already, I know I've been laying them out, um, in progression, but let's lay them out, you know, it's like a mix. Oh, we do have a guidebook, though. So, let me pick one. We'll see what the guidebook has to say. So we get an idea for how... You know, for what to expect. Um, who do we want to hear about? The Air Prince. Okay. <clears throat> so, and I probably showed you this already, but it's a pretty chunky guidebook. Um, I'm pretty sure I already went through the contents, but just in case you can see them here. So, okay. So, we do have a black and white image, uh, full page of the card. <coughs> so, for the air prints says, the Air Prince is associated with cutting loose and the necessity of making harsh decisions. It is not a time for sentiment or emotional persuasion, but rather to look at something in the cold light of day and realize it is time to move on unencumbered. You may experience this as someone behaving in a cold, detached fashion toward you, which can often be an uncomfortable experience. Energetic and motivated, this prince may be guilty of hasty decisions. His mastery of strategic thought and a strong desire for forward motion could lead him into tight corners, although he will often manage to discover success in unexpected ways. This prince is unafraid to move on. Okay, then we have Zodiac, we have Aquarius, Astrology, Mode Fixed, element air of air subjects four of discs five and six of swords for kabbalah we have tipperith to yetzera tagline breaking free okay so let me just lay some out just so you get a feel for how they might read for you you know now that they're at least a little shuffled um, uh, that is just, I love that summer, and this, and the, oh man, yeah, this is the deck that, like, I didn't know that I needed, but now that I have it, I feel like I've needed this deck, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think this is what I wanted from the Mariel. Um, or at least something like that. I love this so much. This is just, uh, this is a great deck. I love, I love this artwork. I love the colors used. And the cards feel wonderful. They really, they're really nice. It's a bit thicker of a card slug, but it's not thick. You know what I mean? But it's a really nice, comfortable uh, thickness. There's a slight, there's a treatment. I don't, they're not glossy. Um, they don't feel laminated. They just feel like there's like a treatment. It's um, really just very smooth and nice. So they do fan out really nicely. Um, look how pretty. 
love that. Um, yeah, I think I think this is going to be an incredible deck. I think this is. Yeah. This is. I think this is a really special deck. Um, having not used it yet, but it's just it's just how I feel. And some of these cards are just so powerful for me already. You know, without even doing any readings. Like these, this one. Uh, I love the sun. But there are some that just... They just feel so... Powerful. They just strike such a powerful chord within me. Um... Yeah, this. This is so... This is so perfect for the root of Earth. I mean, it just... Oh. And that. Oh. And I guess we'll pause, because that's the client. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. This has to be, like, my most interrupted video. Um, you know, but I gotta... Gotta answer clients. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm absolutely enthralled. I'm so excited to work with this deck. Um, I feel like I want to go outside with this deck. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I just do. Um, yeah. But let me know what you think. And this is, this is, um, the Aquarius edition, so it's not the first. Um, so the deck's been around, so if you have it, if you've been using it, let me know about your experience. You know, what do you think of it? How, how do you use it? You know, do you use it kind of like a standard tarot? Do you use it for a little? I feel like this is... I don't know. I don't know. I Maybe more really deeper kind of spiritual, emotional work. You know, I think Crowley's thought is very cerebral, uh, for me, you know. This one... I don't know which. Maybe both. But I'm thinking it's more emotional, spiritual. I could be wrong. <laughs> you know, I haven't used it yet, so we'll see. But it's just a feeling. So... Let me know, because I really want to hear about your experiences and what you think your impressions. And until next time, just be wonderful to yourself. Be really, really wonderful, because you deserve the best, only the best, all the best. And that is my wish for you.